Now, Greg, a couple of weeks ago, you played a hockey game in, in support of the Heart and Stroke Foundation, and uh, that game was played uh, in the uh, Richmond Arena in Louisdale a couple of weeks ago, and now today uh, the, the Heart and Stroke Foundation fundraising continues. We've got Colin McIsaac with us right now. Colin, welcome to the show. Hello. Nice to have you here. Now, now, Colin, you have got uh, a big head of dreadlock hair <laughs> on your head. Tell me a little bit. You are you are about to cut your hair. Yeah. This this is this is a crazy thing for somebody who has dreads. Mm -hmm. Tell me why why are you cutting your hair? I'm basically cutting it because uh, I've heard so much of people like who who said they would donate money and or just giving me money to cut it off. So. Mm -hmm. We came up with the kind of the idea last year. I almost was involved in it last year to do it. Okay. And uh, just for, I know people would support the fact that I'm giving up a tiny little piece of me to to support the heart and stroke. A tiny little piece. I'm told that you <laughs> haven't uh, you haven't cut your hair in seven years. Yeah, it's about seven. Yeah. That that's more than a tiny little piece of it. Yeah, you. exactly. This is this is a whole lot. So did you did you come up with this, or was this people coming to you and saying, "Hey, if you do this, I'll I'll, I'll donate." It was basically me for sure. Yeah. Like, and I just. Put it together. Last year, one of my favorite, my idols, uh, Theron Fleury, was in, involved in it. And yeah. I mm -hmm. thought about it, but I was away last year uh, working, and then now it's about it's a little extra length, and uh, I think I can garner a little more attention to and hopefully just some support. <laughs> well, this has got to be a big thing for you. Like, you, this goes halfway down your back, dude. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, it's, it's tied up a little bit, right? But, Colin, take, take me through the You're You're also a teacher. Mm -hmm. Right? You teach where and what? Well, I'm, I'm practice teaching. I, I go to school at Santa Vex and mm -hmm. I, I practice teach at home in Inverness at the Education Center Academy. Okay. I'm a, an elementary school teacher. Yeah. And part of the time I'm a phys, phys ed teacher as well. So. Now, what what do the kids think that, that Mr. McIsaac's going to come back and he's not going to have this head of hair that you are, like, you're known for now? Oh, yeah, yeah. totally. You know, uh, the dreads are there. What Have you talked to the kids? Have you told the kids? Yeah, most of them don't want me to do it anymore. Really? Or even maybe they never did. So uh, it just becomes a part of everything that I am, too. Mm -hmm. and, and I give off, too. And uh, they're, they'll probably be a little excited to see it, but at the same time, they're like, why do you have to do that? And maybe you're, you're, you're doing it for a good cause, but uh, are, you, are you nervous? Are you apprehensive about doing it after Huge you're growing it for so long? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I am for sure. Uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and the last <laughs> couple nights because really? it's just like I'm just trying to think about so many things, apart from trying to plan and do all the other things that a teacher has to do. Now, the, <laughs> the actual haircut is going to happen tomorrow. Yep. Where is it happening? It's in Inverness, at a hair shop in Inverness, yeah, right? Yeah, Isabel's Hair Salon at uh, 4 p.m., do you have a style in, vo in mind, or are we going? Are we going full Chrome Dome here? Um, or are we I like, like buzz cutting? Bit. Are we? Are we? You know, Justin Timberlaking? What are we doing? That would be ideal. Okay, that would be ideal. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm still kind of working on it. Uh, I, I always had long hair, and I like I like to play with it. Like if you ever mm -hmm. surprised, I'm not top playing with it right now. Okay. Even if it's like this, but I always had long hair in general, and I like to put my hands through it. So a little bit of length would be nice, but we'll see. How it goes. Okay. Now, <laughs> this is all a fundraiser as well for the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Now, uh, we've got a pledge sheet here that you can you can drop off uh, pledges for the Heart and Stroke Foundation for the the, the haircut of Colin McIsaac. And uh, so so you have a plan that you want to keep some hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Why, right. why is this cause important to you, Colin? Uh, well, growing up, I, my, my grandfather, who I never knew, who passed away when I was one year old, and mm -hmm. I always had this idea of he had complications with his heart, and uh, so that's a huge thing. I mean, I was named after him and stuff too. But uh, and there's a few family members, uh, Finley Rankin for sure. He's a uh, their family has been hugely supported, supportive of me, and a lot of the family because of those same reasons too. And just any any time you can draw attention to something like that and raise money for other people is. And and then you've got a deal this weekend too, right? Tell me a little bit what's going, on, what's happening this weekend. So uh, we're on a team. The team is uh, called Cabot Lynx. It's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, community members from Inverness and hockey team. Yeah, a hockey team. We play. We draft one of the an an NHL legend, and uh, the top fundraiser for each team gets to play on a team against all of the the legends. Nice. So uh, it's it'll be pretty cool to see if I can keep keep up with any of them. But you never know. I might have a lot of less weight to deal exactly. with. Exactly, it'll be more sure. aerodynamic. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's my key to getting 
My last shot at the NHL. <laughs> you, you can help Colin uh, raise some money for the Heart and Stroke Foundation as well by making donations here at the radio station. Where else can they make donations, Colin? Uh, online at hockeyheroesweekend.com, and you can find the Cabot Links hockey team or just search my name in it, Colin McIsaac. Okay. And you can donate with a credit card on to my personal page. All right, so we're off the radio right now. This is Colin McIsaac. He is cutting his hair as part of the uh, the Heart and Stroke Foundation, and he's given me the opportunity to be hair cutter number one. So this is going to be dread number one. Colin, you ready? Yes. You ready? Are you okay? Take a deep Are you all right? Oh, and then it's, it's done. done. It's done it's just like day. that. That is dread number two. Colin had taken dread number one himself the other day. There it is. That is dread number two. For the Heart and Stroke Foundation, all this beautiful mane <laughs> is going away. Colin, thanks for doing this. Thanks for yes. helping out the Heart Stroke Foundation. Thanks, thanks for being here on 101.5 The Hawk. And you, check out more soon. You never know what's going to happen on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook fan page. Winning could happen. Haircuts could happen. You never know what's going to happen here on 101.5 The Hawk.